Hello and welcome to you people to the second try of this. Uh, I did this two weeks ago and accidentally recorded it without uh, sound or in-game sound. So I recorded for four hours and all you could hear was me talking without any back so background sound or sound from the game. And yeah, that fucking sucked. So I have to do this again now, but I am had to. Uh, and I hopefully I will do it as close as to the first recording as I did uh, because I enjoyed that session. Uh, but yeah, welcome to Dragon Age Origins. I have never played this game. Well, I have played four hours of it now with the other recording. So uh, yeah, uh, like I said, I have, before this I had only played the second game. And people have always said that they, that is the worst game of all of the Dragon Ages. But I really enjoyed that game. And I enjoyed that game because it was the only game I played. So now I decided to play Dragon Age Origins. Uh, and when I finish this, I'm gonna play... I don't know if I will play the DLC or if I just will play the original game. Because I have the DLC as well. So I will probably only play the like, original game. So I play this, I will then play Dragon Age uh, 2 and I will finish it off with Dragon Age Inquisition. So I will play all of the three games and I will hope, I hope you will enjoy this series uh, as much as I enjoyed Dragon Age 2 and as much as I enjoyed the four hours I played. So yeah, let's create a new character. Uh, yes, Dragon Age Origins, let's go. And I hope to... I'm gonna be quiet in the cutscenes. scenes. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darks. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. Dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the dark spawn drove at us again and again until finally we neared annihilation. from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevailed. Four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. with my own eyes 
what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I have never enjoyed playing a human race or any kind of human in any kind of game when it comes to fantasy games at least because in fantasy games I want to play something new I want to play like a fantasy character that you usually would never see uh, so that's why I'm not gonna pick humans I never do that uh, elves I have never really enjoyed playing elves either I, I like the elves in Warcraft because they're pretty mysterious but when the elves look like this just humans with pointy ears yeah I don't like it that much and that's why I never play uh, night elves either so it's gonna be the dwarves this time and I'm gonna play a female uh, gonna play a warrior and I'm gonna go with dwarf commoner I don't want to play a noble let's go and I don't want to play rogue either. Greetings. Uh, I like this preset. Preset that they have. I think I'm gonna change the tattoo to no tattoo. Uh, my shadow is that. Yeah, it has the makeup. I'm gonna be that one. change the hair to that. I like that one. The hair color is good. I think. Yeah. I think. Yeah. No, that's a good... Uh, well, maybe the darker red. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pick the darker red. Uh, eyebrows are good. Eye color are gonna be... Background, let's make it with that. And expression, no. Like, the expressions here for the portrait. What the fuck? What is that? What is that? Hello? What? Yeah, I'm gonna pick that. Uh, the voice, I'm gonna go. I have lost concentration. How do you do? I'm gonna go cocky. And, Bea, no. There. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's go. To the world of Dragon Age. Oh, right. Attributes as well. God damn it. Uh, let's go with two in cunning. Uh, let's go with. Uh, willpower, no. Let's go. I have because I played like I'm not gonna say, say it again, but I know I have to go with dexterity because I'm gonna do two handed uh, sword style, uh, so I have to go de dexterity for I think. I'm gonna go cunning and dexterity like that, and then I think I'm gonna put more in strength and dexterity, or maybe some more in cunning. I have to see. Uh, let's go with. Uh, not trap making, not stealing. I think I'm gonna die, go that. Pretty good. And I'm gonna go with that. I think. Yeah. That's good enough. Let's 
16, and then I need 26 and dexterity. Not for dexterity. Yeah, uh, that's good enough. And I'm gonna go normal. I'm not gonna go on hard, and I'm not gonna go on nightmare. Because I'm, I want to enjoy this game, so I'm gonna put it on normal. Like, that's also. I usually never play on hard or nightmare mode. It's just. I can play on hard or nightmare mode. Deep beneath the Frostback Mountains sits Ozamar, largest and proudest of the two remaining dwarven cities. Once the seat of an underground empire, Orzammar now stands alone, cut off from the world by the Darkspawn, still clinging to the memory of its former glory. Below the vast statues and gilded halls where the noble families play at politics, the lower castes live in their shadows, scurrying to serve like their ancestors before them. Below that is you. You are castless, the dirty secret staining Orzammar's perfect society, forced, along with your sister, to sell your services to the crime lord Barat. To the rest of Orzammar, you are proof that the castless deserve their fate. But you know you do what you have to, the same as everyone, just to survive. I can't keep gambling on you forever, precious. You've got a sweet look, something to light a man on fire. But you gotta make it count. Please, Barat. I don't want to do this in front of my sister. Why not? She knows the slope of the land, don't you, girl? Didn't I tell you not to talk to my sister that way? You told me a lot of things, not one of which meant more than a fart in the middens. Before me, your sister was just another duster. Now check her out. Braids down to here, gold cap teeth. She can recite elf poetry and play the string harp. Every man's dream. All she's got to do is find a lord, squeeze out some kid who looks like him, and we're all living the easy life in the diamond quarter. Please, don't get involved. You know that never goes well. I'll treat her however I like. As long as you both eat off my plate, you keep your head down and say I to any job I decide is low enough for scum like you. In return, I put out coins so you can doll yourself up and get a belly full of some nobleman's brat. Then you both go free, and I get to join the family and be called my lord for the rest of the little prince's life. Unless I start seeing results, we're going to renegotiate. I'm giving you another week, precious. If you haven't found a patron, you're back to sweeping streets. But I have. I've met someone. That is, I didn't want to promise, but he seemed interested. So get off her back and tell me my job for today. Your buddy Lesky's waiting outside. He knows what I'll need from you today. Don't even think about bungling this job. Your whole family's on loose sand with me right now. And I know you don't have anywhere else to turn. I'm sorry you had to see that. I don't have to hide anything from you, Lika. I've always tried, though. At least I've kept you from buying your future with what's between your legs. I should have told you. Barat's been warning me ever since two of his other girls found patrons at Lord Harrowmont's reception. They've been getting gifts already. Lord Rooston gave Elsie a surface silk gown and she's not even pregnant. Barat's getting impatient. You know the other options. Take. Cleaning middens, begging, Take. going to the surface. No. Unless you find a way to save us all from Darkspawn and become a paragon. We're pretty much on Barat's leash for life.
You know how desperate the nobles are for more children. They can barely field enough soldiers to hold the walls against the Darkspawn. If I could give one of them a son, the whole house would celebrate, and we'd all be raised up to noble caste to join the family. It's what Barat's betting on. That's why he paid for my clothes, my voice lessons. He wants to share the reward. Yes, that is, I hope. He certainly seems charming. He treats me like a real lady, not just someone to tumble and forget. We see. I, I don't want to say, in case I'm wrong. It just seems too mad to think of one of the most important men in Orzammar with someone like me. Anyway, time is resting and I need to get dressed. But these fashions will be the death of me. A hundred buttons on each sleeve. And Lesky's probably already outside waiting for you. Yep. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you tonight. So good to kill that bitch. Okay, let's see. Uh... Sodding time. I was starting to think I'd have to bust in and get an eyeful of that spicy sister of yours. Growl. You're just jealous because you want the majesty of Lesky for yourself, you shameless hussy. What do you say? As much as I'd love to keep chatting, we'd better get down to business. Right, what's this over? Oh, I was hoping our mission was to be fun. No such luck. Boss says we're out for a search and discipline. One of his smugglers is holding out on him. Name's Oskias, some surfacer. Barat got word that he's been selling shipments topside that never make it to Barat's ears down here. He wants us to find the router and see what goods he's holding back. Okay, uh... Away, All he told me is find him. Duster's got some family from the merchant cast. He's probably staying near their quarters. Poetry to my ears, Selraka. Okay. That's cool. uh, by the way, I'm recording this without a webcam. Uh, I don't know if you want a webcam, just leave it in the comments and let's hear what you think. Or just ask for critique. What I can do better and stuff like that. It's always help. So, yeah. For any information you can give me, or what you want to see, or anything like that. Let's go. Let's talk to a visual schmuck. Two bits for the needy. I see you before. You're one of Barat's girls, the one with the sword. You don't know from needy, not until you're my age. You think Barat's going to watch you when you're old? Soon as your muscles go, it's the clean crew on the streets for you. Unless you find some man to fill you with babies and give you the care for them, you'll be gone soon enough. Only place for you to end up is here, watching some castless upstarts refusing to share their coin. Is there anything you need for money? Ooh. You drive a hard bargain, soldier. You looking for someone to shine your shoes, clean your pots, keep you warm at night? Is that what you're looking for? That's worth ten bits, no? Intimidate. Go ahead. Beat up an old man if it makes you feel better. I seen your man at Tapsters. I was waiting out back, but they wouldn't tip me the dregs off the ale barrel. Said it was going to compost. But I saw another brand there with his surface money, and they served him. 
called him Ascaius, sir. You think I got that close? Cavern keepers, they know all I have to pay with is dirt. Now get out of here, you're scaring off the other pockets. Alms, alms for the pain. Let's go and kill this old. Spare silver. My boy needs me. This gentleman. Because that's my mission. Hell yeah. Okay.